Welcome back to Time News. Today, we'll spotlighting ten major updates in the realm of longevity from the past week. One, the study published on aging explored how parental age influences lifespan in nematodes and fruit flies. Offspring from older adults exhibited shorter lifespans, but a single generation with younger parents reversed this trend, indicating the presence of a beneficial non-genetic mechanism. Two, after testing 130 participants, the study found that hearing impairment is linked to alterations in brain regions that are tied to auditory processing and attentional control. These changes may contribute to the increased risk of dementia associated with hearing loss. Three, this review delved into PTE, which is found abundantly in grapes and blueberries. It can modulate oxidative damage, inflammation, telomere attrition, and cellular senescence. The combination of current scientific insights emphasizes the potential of PTE as a powerful therapeutic agent for age-related cognitive impairments. Four. Reducing sulfur amino acids in mouse diets enhances physical activity, especially when initiated at a young age. These improvements, attributed to increased mitochondrial activity, show minimal impact on muscle mass and are influenced by age and sex. Five. This study issued on scientific reports showed that colossal protein protects the heart from oxidative stress during ischemia reperfusion injury by inhibiting three pathways. Colossal can be recognized as a novel cardioprotective agent. Six. After examining over 13,000 adults, the study reviewed age-related variations in blood pressure. Notably, systolic blood pressure that is higher than 150 millimeters of mercury posed mortality risks for the robust young old. It highlights the importance of tailored guidelines for different age groups based on frailty and blood pressure levels. Seven scientists found that hypertension accelerates brain aging by raising Mg levels, leading to the accumulation of neurodegenerative markers. Fortunately, treatment with NAC mitigates aging process, reducing AGE's generation, neuroinflammation, and oxidative damage in hypertensive brains. Eight. On the wake of metformin, this study highlights the potential of SGLT2 inhibitors, typically used for diabetes as anti-aging drugs, by influencing key aging-related pathways. Though promising in experiments, rigorous research is essential to confirm their effectiveness in counteracting aging effects. Nine, the recent study suggests that NRTI, originally designed for cancer and HIV, show promise as anti-aging agents. They act on aging hallmarks by reducing DNA damage, extending lifespan through mitochondrial effects, and suppressing inflammation. Balancing potential side effects is crucial for future human use. Last but not least. Next month, the Buck Institute hosts the first ever international roundtable of longevity clinics on December 8th. It will set gold standards by reviewing recent research, identify effective diagnostics, and agree on recommendations for longevity-focused interventions, supplements, and therapies. The list of speakers is impressive, including David Sinclair and Eric Verdon. Today's edition of Time News comes to a close. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned next week for more updates.